Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover Altitude. This is a free airdrop. I'm 90% confirmed that it's going to happen. And this project is powered by Layer Zero, so it's interacting with Layer Zero, which is another big airdrop that you can participate and I already covered. So Altitude is one of the first DApps built on Layer Zero. Like always, we are going to talk a little bit about the project and then I'm going to go step by step on everything that you can do in order to participate on this airdrop. I have to say there are official information about this testnet, so you can go to the official page, but I'm going to make it very easy for you in this video. And like you know, I'm going to cover a lot about the project, so you know exactly what are you doing on this testnet. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and without anything else, let's get into it. Hey guys, well, like I mentioned, Altitude DeFi is a composable native blue chip asset bridge and one of the first DApps built on layer zero. Altitude allows DeFi users to transfer native assets cross-chain thanks to Layer Zero technology based on five strengths. Infrastructure, security, lightning, fast transactions, cheap bridging fees, zero impermanent loss. ALTD is the native token of Altitude and is confirmed. It's a governance token which can be farmed by providing liquidity for supported tokens. An official Altitude tokenomics announced that 5% of the supply is reserved for a strategic airdrop. So the website here is altitudedefi.com. You can check a little bit about the website, but it's very, very simple. And the interested part is the tokenomics that you can see here. The max supply is 100 million. You can see that it's important to note that there is a finite supply of ALTD as part of the tokenomics. And 100 million is not that big amount. So usually the tokens are going to worth some nice value in USD. And you can see how it's distributed 65% to the community. This means liquidity pool, single asset staking, bootstrapping liquidity on DXs, curve. Team Treasury 25%, Advisors 2.5%, IDO CX 2.5%, and a strategic airdrop down here, you can see it, says that 5 million, that is the 5%, is up to 5% of the token supply reserved for a strategic airdrop. So usually, if we can count this as a confirmation, the testnet could be something important to do for this project. In terms of community, 16.4k followers on Twitter, so it's not a big amount of followers. So that means that maybe the distribution of this airdrop could worth a lot. And like I said before, there's a document that I will put the link also in my post for the official testing guide on how you can do all that I'm going to comment on this video. I already covered all this. These are 10 pages. But if you have any doubts of my video, you can go to the official link that is going to be also in my post. So without anything else, let's go to the step by step on how to do the Altitude DeFi airdrop. And remember to check my website CryptocurrencyState.net. You can see all the different airdrop videos that I cover weekly. Two, three or four times per week I do airdrop videos so you can apply to them. You go just to the section of videos or you can search here any video that you want or any project that you want. And also check my subscriptions guide because we are killing it there. I have one private discord where we manage high level of information about new airdrops that I cannot cover here on my social medias or even in YouTube. We are become BRC20 and the new standards on Bitcoin for NFTs. We are behind the meme coins that are really exploding or could explode. We have portfolio strategies on general stuff about crypto. So many things happen in my Discord only. And also, if you are really interested in making money on airdrops, I recommend you to use my application. I created an app that is going to help you to organize your airdrops and also to apply easily. You are going to apply in just a couple of clicks to all the airdrops that I cover. And also you can put your custom address from another sources. So here you have two videos on how my app works. So go check that and check the subscriptions are really, really cheap. 
I'm probably going to increase the prices for the subscriptions because are really cheap right now. So like always in my videos, the step one and step two is follow them on Twitter and Discord. You probably are going to need this to be up to date with the last news of the project. The third point is that we are going to need some testnet blockchains. So we are going to add Avalanche, BNB Chain and Metis testnet on this. You can go to chainlist.org and search for that. You write here Avalanche, click on include testnet, you're going to see Avalanche Fushi testnet. You just click to add to MetaMask and you are going to be able and connect to, to that. Remember the Avalanche testnet is called Fushi. Then you can search for Binance and here you have the Binance Smart Chain testnet. So just click add to MetaMask. You are going to see here the official information of the network, approve it and you can switch to that network too. And the same for Metis, you can see Metis garlic testnet. So add that into your MetaMask and you are going to be done with this point. Now we need to get Faucet tokens for this. This is a step four. So here I put some links on how you can get Faucet tokens. For example, for Avalanche here, you select here the network is Fushi, the token is AVAX. You need to connect your wallet here and you can click on request to AVAX tokens. So this transaction was successfully sent. And if I go to Avalanche Fushi, you can see that I received my tokens already. Now we need to do the same with BNB Chain and with Metis with the faucet of Metis 2. So get tokens to make transactions. And after that, we move to the next point. Now guys, the step five is we also need to claim faucet tokens for ALTD. These are the altitude tokens. So we go to the specific faucet of altitude. Let's connect here with Avalanche there. So we move to Avalanche Fuji chain. We can click there and we are going to get here. The transaction was signed successfully. Now we go to step six. This is if you had problems adding your networks into chainlist.org using that. If you go now to the application, the, you, you switch the networks, a pop-up is going to ask you to add the network. So that is another way to do it. That means that we go to step seven, which is connect your wallet into the testnet of altitude. So let's go here. We click on connect using MetaMask. I am connecting with my Avalanche Fushi testnet. You can see I am already connected now. We go to transfer and here you can see the application. Now the step eight is bridge ALDT tokens. So we go to transfer like I am showing. And for now, the site supports three tokens, ALTD, ABT, USDC. Thanks to the faucet, you should have 1000 token shop each. And you can select BNB chain as destination chain and transfer some ALDT between available chains. So here we have from AVAX into BNB. So you can select here the different networks. And I will send let's say 100. Now we click send tokens. Because I am sending on AVAX, I will need to pay the transaction there, sending the tokens. And you can see an activity that in the testnet of altitude, I have been sending already the tokens and I don't have any more those in my balance. So you need to wait this until it's confirmed and you are going to already be done with the transfer. Now I can go to BNB here, change to Binance Smart Chain. And you can see that in my balance, I have 1,100. This 100 is the one that I sent already. So now I have in my BNB testnet and I'm going to send some to Metis. So I'm going to send 200 here and you can put some gas destination if you want, or you can use it at default. These are all things that you can do in order to send these tokens or not. Confirm the BNB payment on gas. And you can see successful, your transaction was successful. And here from BNB, I'm going to send another token USDC in this case. So change the token here, guys. I'm putting USDC here. So I will send 200. Now click on set allowance, click on next, approve. And after that, you can click on swap. And the swapping tokens is working right now. And transaction was confirmed. You can check the details here on the testnet on Binance Smart Chain. And that will be all for the part of the bridge. So remember, you can check the different tokens, do transaction with all of them and with the different networks. Here you have Polygon testnet and Phantom testnet if you want to. 
Remember that the Polygon testnet is Mumbai. You will need to ask for uh, tokens too. But remember to try use most of the networks that you can. If you go to transactions, you're going to see your transactions here. And from the official documentation, they also told us that try to verify that all previous British transactions get displayed on the transaction section, accept and reject different pending transactions and verify that all tokens balances are updated correctly. And you also can check that the change network is working correctly too. Now we need to go to the section of pools and you need to try these pools, enter liquidity on them. I will put 150, click on set allowance. And remember I am using the pool, adding to the pool of ABT from my testnet of uh, Avalanche Fuji. Now click on add liquidity, confirm the transaction. And we need to wait until this adding liquidity loading finish. So we already add liquidity. You also can remove liquidity. You can see that my LP balance is 150. So I can take out, let's say 20 and remove liquidity there. Very similar to any other DeFi protocol, super intuitive, transaction successful. And going back into my step-by-step, -step, we already did point nine, which was using gas on destination. That option is not necessary, but you can use it. And you need to repeat the steps with the different tokens, like I mentioned. Step 10 is using different tokens. Now step 11 is using the pools. So you click on a pool, like I already showed you, and you also can remove liquidity. That will be the step 12, which is withdraw liquidity. I already showed you how to do step 12. Now we go to step 13, which is farms. So we go to the farming section and we deposit tokens there. I will select this. Remember to try to use a couple of them. I will put the max here, 100, and, and click on farm. Confirm the transaction. And you can see adding to the farm. And now you need to wait like one minute until this ends. And you can see transaction successful on the farm part. So we already did the farm. Remember, you also can withdraw from the farm and here in step 13 too you can withdraw some of your tokens from the farm now we go to step 14 which is we need to stake so you go to the stake tab it's going to be here you can see if you have stakes here your availability and transfers to avax so let's check here for a stake you can see that i have 900 here i'm going to put 300 set allowance put the max here so you have allowance there and click approve and wait the transaction now click on stake confirm the transaction and the transaction was successful also in the stake part super intuitive guys not much more to do we already covered all the different things on the project if we check the official documentation after the pools you go to the farms and you go to the stake and you can see that will be all the last thing to do guys is that you can go here to the discord and this channel and put the feedback that will be also something that i recommend you for you to do and that is here on step 15 i here i put the link to the official documentation of the testnet and it's the link to the channel where you can give the feedback so that will be point 15 and doing that guys you already finished the altitude DeFi airdrop Remember before we leave to check my subscriptions to my Discord and my application. And don't forget before to leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. This is Cryptocurrency State where we cover airdrops and how to make money in crypto. That will be all for this video and I see you in the next video. Bye.